on ISIS. Well played, NASA. Well played. Part three in this epic series of WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Let's take a time machine backwards to my last two videos where I asked NASA very politely, Dear NASA, could you pretty please point one of your big old fancy billion dollar telescope cameras at Comet Ison? Why don't you jet propulsion lab your ass to show us what the deal is? Okay, lo and behold, don't you know, NASA goes ahead and puts the Hubble. Cause they put the Hubble on, uh, they put the Hubble on, on Comet Ison. But just like in those tales where you ask the genie to give you a prize, he doesn't give you a prize, and you end up with like a door in your pants or whatever. This is what happened here. They put the Hubble on Comet Ison for a singular photograph. That's cool, man. Like you won that round. You gave me what I wanted, but uh, like a genie make a wish and then you end up with like a monkey foot or whatever when what you really asked for was a monkey hat but you know for the sake of you and the viewer i'm gonna take what they've given us this still photograph and i'm gonna play with it. yep i'm gonna blow it up i'm gonna make it bigger i'm gonna play with it until it does what i want that's what i'm gonna do yeah okay we're gonna flip it on the side we're gonna play with all the controls and the editing program make it brighter make it dimmer see if we can find a nucleus see if we can just you know find any new pieces of information 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 on the data they've given us but hey i mean Overall, thanks, NASA, for the photograph. All right, this is what it's going to look like if it's a little brighter. This is what it's going to look like if it's brighter than the moon. This is what it's going to look like if it's a lot brighter than the moon. This is what it's going to look like if it's really dim. This is what it looks like if it shines bright like an ison. This is what it's going to look like if it's a dud. Ooh, I wonder if it has that baby from 2001 in it. Probably not, because in 2001, when the monolith came, Goldman Sachs used it to create derivatives, another bogus financial instrument. So I doubt the baby of evolution is coming to us soon. Hello, Dave. You never know. Okay, then I'm gonna have to make a new request. Dear Ness, can you put one of your big old fancy cameras on Comet Ison and hit video record play? Video record record. Yeah, not play. Not video record play, but video record record. And record in motion picture status what Ison is doing. Hello, Dave. You know, you can judge a lot more by um, what it's doing when it's moving. I mean, you can see the motion pictures, moving pictures, you know? Um, that'd be great. Pretty please. Could you, you know, just switch the button over from photograph to video? I'm sure it's just like an iPhone, right? That's what the Hubble is, just like an iPhone. Apple Hubble. Hubble Apple. Hubble Hubble Apple. Hubble Apple. Don't make me Bitcoin your ass, bitches. Now, could you please click on the play? If you like it and you want to put a motion picture camera on it. Yeah, we're 2012. I'm very familiar with the Hubble still and the dot. motion pictures she can take. The amazing video. I've said if the Hubble were a woman, I would marry her. And that was just based on her photographic, photographic, photographical abilities. Her ability to take awesome super HD video, motion video. Like, for example, look at this stuff. This is what she's done. But we know the Hubble is capable of brilliant, moving, colorful, in-depth photography, moving photography, mind-blowing motion picture. So NASA, can you pretty please put on your big old fancy motion picture cameras on Comet Ison? Pretty please. Now think, NASA did this with just the power of one Matt Miller tweet. Just think of what we could get if we had all the wonderful Bloomberg women giving me a group hug while singing, if you like it and you want it, put a motion picture camera on it, the sky's the limit. Everybody stay tuned to this ongoing epic saga. Matt, can you get me 60 seconds on air? This is important. She naked? Put a bra on her. Nudity. Comet nudity. No one will stand for that. It's a little dot. They call it a dirty snowball, but that's offensive, especially if you watch Clerks. I don't think you're ready for this comet. I don't think you're ready for this comet. I don't think you're ready for this comet. This comet is too comedy delicious for you, babe. NASA, if you want to get people excited about space and the mysteries and the magics and the physics and the realities of things, why not give us a close look? Why can't we be watching this thing like you guys do? Because you got to see NASA. I'm not against you. I love you guys. Welcome back to Earth from Space. Hello, Dave. Thor News presents... Comet C-2012 S1 Ison. Well played, NASA. Well played. Part 3 in this epic series of WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Let's take a time machine backwards to my last two videos where I asked NASA very politely, Dear NASA, could you pretty please point one of your big old fancy billion dollar telescope cameras at Comet Ison? Why don't you jet propulsion lab your ass to show us what the deal is? Okay, lo and behold, don't you know, NASA goes ahead and puts the Hubble. Cause they put the Hubble on, uh, they put the Hubble on, on Comet 